Well, we've already got some thunderstorms around the metro area and more to come. A decent little cluster of thunderstorms in the southwest of Vermilion Bay. These will continue moving kind of along a northeasterly trajectory, but already some storms in the metro area. A few lightning strikes as well. No real rumbles of thunder that I could hear. It looks like a lot of this may be cloud to cloud lightning, but you can definitely see the flashes. Had a decent little downpour that passed right over the city, now moving out toward New Orleans East. Moderate rainfall on the West Bank and elsewhere down toward the coast. A few pockets of some moderate to heavier showers a little bit lighter at the moment north of the lake, but this is just the start with more to come through the overnight and early tomorrow morning. Now most of the rainfall, thankfully, this is not going to be an all day Friday rain event. Yes, a wet morning commute as we approach the lunch hour, though most of our models indicating we're already starting to dry out and then certainly further through the afternoon and evening, maybe even some breaks in the clouds for for a peak or two of some sun and then mostly dry as well for both Saturday and Sunday. So really good news that we can get the rainfall out of here during the overnight. And yeah, the morning commute will have some issues with the rainfall, but we're not expecting severe weather. So settling down to bed tonight, that's not going to be an issue. No flooding, real threats. A few downpours could lead to some maybe minor puddling or ponding of water, but I don't think that's going to be a widespread concern. 57 degrees are current rating. Dew points in the 30s, but those will start coming up, especially as we're now getting that rainfall moving in. In the 50s outside, our low for the day at Kenner was 57, and we're only there right now. And our high today was only 60. We've only had a three degree temperature spread all day long, meaning temperatures really went nowhere all morning and afternoon, and they're not really going to go anywhere through the overnight. Dew points are low, but they are on the rise, and certainly with an easterly wind, and definitely as that rainfall starts moving into the region. Matter of fact, what is triggering all of this is an upper disturbance that is well to our north. However, within this southwesterly flow, this disturbance is kind of triggering instability. And you can kind of see that here of some of those moisture plumes firing up just down to our southwest. So this is where our rainfall is coming from, but it actually has a relation to the disturbance that is well to our north. So more thunderstorms are starting to fire up farther southwest uh, from Vermilion Bay and off the Louisiana coastline and that's what is moving toward us and that will really start activating a bit more during the overnight period and that's when we're expecting some of our more possibly heavier downpours but again not expecting anything severe starting out the day tomorrow with those scattered showers wrapping up by about the noon hour and then as I said maybe a few breaks for a little bit of sunshine and then going into the weekend mostly dry weather maybe an isolated 20% chance both Saturday and Sunday but we'll actually find ourselves for Friday afternoon and the weekend and in kind of in between systems that one feature that is moving up to our north will be moving on afternoon and then Saturday and Sunday fairly quiet until we fast forward to Monday the upper atmosphere. Here comes another disturbance deep upper troughing across the mountain west will send another disturbance our way and that will start triggering showers beginning Monday going into Tuesday and we could even see some heavier downpours on Tuesday and likely a pattern that will keep at least some mention of rainfall in the picture for both Wednesday Thursday and likely next Friday as well. So an 80% chance tomorrow morning, then drying out rest of the weekend, about a 20% chance. Those rain chances picking back up going into early next week and then lingering showers as we continue through the week. That rain chance that will be on the way to start next week, Monday and into early Tuesday does bring with it a tag for maybe some localized street flooding. It'll be more of an isolated issue as of right now, but even the rainfall we're expecting tonight is not really being given a tag for any kind of flooding threat, so it would be very uh uh, minor if we were to see anything like that overnight and really I'm not expecting that to be an issue. 65 degrees are high, so another fairly cool afternoon. We're back into the 70s, but drier for this weekend. Another shot of rainfall Monday into Tuesday and then some lingering showers as we continue through next week.